All right, so today we're doing the American Fast Food Cultural Diffusion Project. And you are a marketing director. You've been hired to take an American fast food chain of your choice, develop a plan to diffuse it into a Central or South American country of your choice. Uh, so this is your project. Uh, this project is not only a test grade for this three weeks, or excuse me, this six weeks, but it will also be half of your final exam grade. So make sure that you do an excellent job. Uh, this tutorial will walk you through what a uh, good project will look like. You need to make your own decisions, uh, choose a different restaurant, and choose a different country. Now, what I will be doing is I will be taking McDonald's and I will be uh, coming up with a plan to diffuse it into Brazil. So slide one, uh, the project's gonna be eight slides, it's in PowerPoint. Each one of the slides and what goes into each slide is broken down onto this document. This can be found in the hub. All eight slides are here and then also a grading rubric. We're gonna go through each one of these. So slide one, we need the title of your project, your name, and two pictures. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a little starting point right here. You can find PowerPoint here, or if it doesn't pop up right there, go to P and PowerPoint. I'm gonna open up a blank presentation. We need a title for it. So I'm doing McDonald's in Brazil. You also need your name. So you write your name. You don't write my name. I'm writing my name. And then we need two pictures. And so what I've decided is I'm going to do a Brazil flag. Uh, let's see. I like this one. So with all pictures, right, find them. Right click save image as and then I have a spot on my desktop where I save all my PowerPoint pics. I'm going to call it Brazil flag so it's easy to find. It's a JPEG so I'll be able to use that. Okay, saving and then also I want to do a McDonald's. There we go. Save image as and that's also a JPEG and it's saving now into my PowerPoint picks. Good. Go back in here. Anytime you want to put a picture in, anytime you want to insert something, go to insert. I want to insert a picture from this device. And you need to know where you save the pictures at. I'm saving all mine under PowerPoint picks. Brazil flag. We're going to move it, although that doesn't matter because we're going to do the design in just a second. Insert this device. McDonald's. That's pretty big. And then uh, for design ideas, um, you can click on design and then if the design ideas don't show up automatically you can click design ideas over here and it'll be a big list of them I like this one this one's kind of fun all right so uh, slide one is let's look title your name two pictures slide two should have a definition of cultural diffusion and explain what it is two pictures good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to home I'll put in a new slide. Well, you can do a new slide like this. I like title only. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So this slide, we're doing a definition for cultural diffusion. Now, if I click anywhere, it's not letting me type because you have to insert a text box. So go to insert text box will give you this little guy and you draw out a space now we need a good definition for cultural diffusion so I'm going to Google 
and I'm looking up cultural diffusion definition. You could also do it from um, uh, the PowerPoints that we've done, the global culture or cultural changes PowerPoints that are back in the hub. All right? But we look right here, uh, dictionary.com. It's the spreading of culture, culture traits, or culture pattern from a center point. Okay. So cultural diffusion is, and I'm just going to, and when I copied that over, it all became a different, uh, Cultural diffusion is the spreading out of culture, cultural traits, or cultural pattern from a center point. Okay, so then we need two pictures. So now I want to look up cultural diffusion images. I want some pictures that really show cultural diffusion. Ah, here's a good one. Um, You've got uh, literally the cultural diffusion of McDonald's. That's a fun image. That's a JPEGs. Okay. And um, these are always fun. Okay, so we're going to go back to the PowerPoint. I want to insert my pictures. This is just kind of a word wall. Um, all words that uh, help with uh, cultural diffusion. And I want to insert one more picture. Under M. And then remember, you can always go to design, have your design ideas turn on. Mm. Okay, it's starting to be fun. That's fun. You got a little background, got a little work. That's a that's a good time right here. All right, that looks like slide two is taken care of. We have the definition of cultural diffusion, two pictures. Slide three, you're gonna name a fast food you'd like to diffuse into Central or South America and why you chose that chain. So let's go to home. New slide on title only. McDonald's. And I'm inserting a text box because there wasn't a way to write in here. I chose to diffuse McDonald's because it is a global, globally recognized brand and is easy to adapt to other cultures. Also, I like their french fries. So, that is why I chose McDonald's. It's a globally recognized brand, um, and I think that it's easy to adapt to other cultures. Also, I like their french fries. All right? Simple enough. Don't get uh, too worked up over it. It's which fast food chain would you like to diffuse in the Central or South America and why you chose that chain, okay? Nothing academic about it. We just want to know what you chose and why. So we're going to do... Uh, I want that. I want... So you're going to right click on it. It's still a JPEG, so that's good. Let me call that McDonald's 
food. Let's see. Okay, and then here's one uh, from Japan. That's a fun image. Flavors of Japan. PowerPoint pics. And so this is an image that'll show that uh, McDonald's can uh, go with the flow and uh, change culturally, um, adapt. So we're going to insert those two pictures. And then insert from this device. that picture there we go all right so that's slide three McDonald's that's why I chose it slide four the country in Central or South America that you chose to diffuse the fast food chain into and why so I chose Brazil um, I've always liked the country of Brazil it's some place that uh, I always like to visit so whenever I'm interested in a country I always like to do more research or make those part of um, the projects I do so I chose Brazil because I have always been interested in traveling to Brazil um, other thing is, is just, you know, as the world geography teacher, um, Brazil has more people living in it, which means there are more potential customers. Because remember, you're, you're, you're trying to set yourself up for success. Um, I just happen to know that Brazil's got a ton of people that live there. Um, so, you know, the more people living there means that there's more potential customers. All right. So that's why I chose Brazil. Um, so let's do Brazil. Let's just do Brazil images. Got to have. Uh, there we go. Oh, I don't want to click on it. I just want to right click. Save image as. Brazil. And. This is a fun little. Uh, we'll call that Brazil 2. Both of those are JPEG, so they'll work. Insert picture. Insert picture. Okay, design idea. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay, so that is slide four. Why the country in Central or South America, and why? Now we're on to slide five. You're gonna tell us how many people could potentially be customers by showing us a population pyramid from that country. Tell us how much money we could potentially make by showing us the GDP per capita of the country in two pictures. All right, so this one's a little bit, this is where the research actually begins. You want to go to CIA World Factbook, so CIA.gov slash the dash world dash factbook. Okay, this is the website, the World Factbook. You click on countries and you find your country. So there's a lot of results here. I'm going to go to B for Brazil. We're on page two. Click on that. 
here you're going to have a ton of information about Brazil. Photos, country flag map. This is where we're going to start to find the information that we need. Okay. Over here in content, it's going to be under people and society. You're going to scroll down. First thing we want is the population pyramid. So there'll be a population pyramid right here. You click on the two squares that are right here and this page will pop up. All right, I'm going to save that image as yep, Brazil picture. Good. Okay, and we can close that out. And then we need the GDP per capita. So let's keep scrolling. Ah, here we go. GDP per capita. This is what the average person makes per year. Okay. So we're just going to save that information. We need to open up, uh, create a new slide. I'm going to insert the picture I want to insert a text and it says GDP per capita this is how much money the average person makes in Brazil okay and it is eleven, about eleven thousand one hundred seventeen dollars, um, established around two thousand nineteen, um, and then we need one more picture. Let's do Brazil money. Save image as. Insert. Find that Brazil money. Okay, now my designs are back. Um, let's see. Okay, this is a fun one. It puts right in here, right where the money's at. The GDP per capita is eleven thousand one hundred seventeen dollars. Um, I wonder. Let's go back to here. This is the population. This is how many. There's two hundred and eleven million. Uh, 211 million plus people, so almost 212 million people in Brazil. I'll go back to my PowerPoint. And I want to insert a text box right here. That looks okay. That's not my favorite, but uh, that'll work. Okay, so you have a population pyramid, GDP per capita. So this is how many potential customers you could have. This is what the average person makes. Okay. Um, two pictures. Good. <coughs> 
Slide six, describe the culture of your country. What language do they speak? What is the predominant religion? What traditions do they have? Two pictures. Okay. As long as you get two of these on here, you should be good. So title only. Um, Brazil's culture. So, what language do they speak? Well, we spent uh, an entire week talking about uh, Brazil. Um, so you guys should know in Brazil the official language is Portuguese. Let me capitalize Brazil there. Um, what is the predominant religion in the country? Okay, so for your country, um, it's probably going to be uh, some kind of Christianity um, or Catholicism, but you want to click, you can click on people in society, languages, right? Portuguese, official, most widely spoken language, right? So you literally copy that. Um, religion, the most popular religion is Roman Catholic, okay? And then other Catholic, and then Protestant. Uh, so Christianity is uh, the domineering religion there. Um, we'll, we'll say uh, Catholicism. Save images. Uh, and then Brazil. Oh, well, that's fun. It's an image that has the uh, top languages on Facebook in Brazil. Oh, that's a PNG image. I don't think that's going to work. Well, let's give it a whirl. So, go back. I'm going to insert those two pictures. Okay, that worked. That's fun. And then insert the other picture. We move the wording there. That works. Good. So we have uh, slide six taken care of as well. Slide seven. I want you to define at least two changes that you would make that would make the American fast food chain a success in the country of your choice. Now, big one's probably going to be the language on the menu. Okay. So the language is probably not going to be in English. You have to tell us. I mean, if the customers cannot read the menu, they're not going to be able to order food. Right? Any food changes, any flavor changes, holiday specials, etc. Right? So Brazil's got some great food, um, and let's start with this. We're going to define two changes that we're going to make. Okay? So we start off with a new slide.
So these are the changes that I'm going to make to McDonald's to make it successful in Brazil. Um, one menu will be in Portuguese, right? So they have to be able to read the menu. Uh, two, let's look at some, one of the things you're going to need to do is look at some popular foods from your country. So I typed in popular foods in Brazil, and these are the, the top 10 foods to try before you leave Brazil. Now, uh, Brazil's known for barbecued meat. Um, I was going through this list earlier. And these brigadeiros, these brigadeiros is uh, Brazil's answer to the chocolate truffle. And what it is, it's uh, simmering condensed milk with cacao powder and then whisking in butter and shaping them into basically a chocolate ball rolled into chocolate sprinkles. I think that brigadeiros could be an excellent uh, change for a dessert um, that the McDonald's could easily, cheaply sell um, and that could um, uh, really fit in well with the culture. Um, so add Briga. Let me make sure I'm spelling this right. Briga Daros. Add Briga Daros to the menu as a dessert option. It is a um, it is a popular food item in Brazil. Okay. Of course, I spelled it wrong. It's I or E I. All right. And there was one other, oh, uh, the acai, right? Uh, it's one of the uh, fruits from the Amazon. Um, it's considered a superfood. Um, it's a hard purple berry. And uh, it's, it's used sometimes in the United States. Uh, um, it's great for uh, sorbet, so kind of a dessert type thing. We usually see it topped with granola, uh, slices of bananas. Um, and so... That could also be something potentially add an acai. So they could do the uh, acai parfait. Of course, it's spelled parfait wrong as well. Um, so brigadeiros and acai. So what I want to do now is I want to get some pictures. I'm going to get the pictures of the brigadeiros. It's a pretty great picture right here. Right click. Oh, that's a web. If you see this web P file, that file is not going to load onto your um, PowerPoint. So I want to look up. Yes. All right. Now that I see a different picture of it, I know exactly what it is. That's very good. Save that. And then let's do... Something that really sells the acai bowl. There we go. So, menu is going to be in Portuguese. I'm going to insert the picture of the Brigadeiro. We came across the acai bowl first. So, I'm going to insert that one. And then insert
All right, there you go. This slide seven. These are some of the changes that I would make. Um, so uh, bring a little bit of the Brazilian culture, uh, that South American culture with it, a possible dessert option, um, well, two dessert options. Um, in your restaurant, just think about maybe there's a meat that uh, is unique to your country. Uh, maybe there's a particular flavor, a particular food that people like in that country. Right, and that would be a change. And then make sure that you have whatever language is the official language in that country. Make sure your menu is in that language. Okay, that's going to be one of the things that I'm looking for. Finally, slide eight conclusion summarize your plan. And on a positive note, that would sell people on the idea that your chain would succeed in the country you chose. All right, so here we go. And now I want it home new slide so conclusion so I believe that McDonald's could easily be diffused into Brazil and be a huge success. It is a very adaptable brand, right? Everybody knows what McDonald's is, right? Um, it's a very adaptable band, brand. There are enough people who make enough money To order food and eat at McDonald's in Brazil, right? That's the population pyramid. Um, there's enough people there, and they make enough money um, that they could eat at, at McDonald's. And with a simple menu change to Portuguese and some delicious desserts or excuse me we'll call them local dessert options I know that McDonald's delicious dessert it will be a success there you go so then you want to insert uh, pictures um, I want here's what I want to do I want to find a picture of some money more Brazilian currency a different one that that'll work and um, let's do one more McDonald's picture. Let's see if they even, they probably do have a McDonald's Brazil. There you go, picture of McDonald's in Rio de Janeiro. Perfect. And that way people can get the image of it. You already know it's going to be a success because it's already happened. Mm, let me find my money picture. And there you go. That is the project. And what you do, 
Now you need to save your project. So you want to go to File, Save As. I want to save it to this PC, and I want to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it um, McDonald's in Brazil. And save it. And there you have it. You have opened uh, PowerPoint, gone through all the parts of it, and then you have completed your PowerPoint if you've been following along. If you have any questions, reach out to me, uh, and then I'll have a separate video showing you how to load everything into the hub so that you can turn your project in. All right, good luck. If you have any questions, uh, send me a, a message on Teams.